Berefu Island, just off the coast of the ancient city of Badagri in Lagos State, Nigeria. The island became the horrific pathway to the point of no return for a large number of captives who were stolen away by ship and sold into slavery in the Americas between 1518 and 1880. As the slaves trudged through the island in chains, their captors rode on horseback, pressing them relentlessly towards the coastline and an unknown future. It was a long and desperate walk. Today, a multicultural delegation from the diaspora have come to Badagri to retrace the steps of those captured ancestors as a spiritual journey, but also to prepare the way for future development of the region's tourism potential. But first, accompanied by their hosts, the delegation must pay their respects at the Palace of the King, the Akran of Badagri. together, connecting you, you connecting us, so that together we could develop and grow. So I welcome everybody once again. Thank you. After the formalities, all the guests were honored with native names as a symbolic gesture of their homecoming. Let him know what it 
As they arrive on Berefo Island, there's a surprise in store. The slave route is flooded, but they press on regardless. So let's try, as we walk on this path, the route is flooded. Imagine our ancestors walking through the route. In chains. Thank you, ma'am, in chains. It, is flo it was flooded too. Heavy, heavy chains. Heavy chains. Very heavy. With the, with the overseer behind their back, with whips. Let's reenact that. That is why we are here. Let's go. Along the route, the current state of decay and dilapidation on the island was brought sharply into focus. Followed by a somber history lesson. As soon as they bring the slaves around here, they sit them down near the palm tree. The person in charge of the slaves, called the overseer, will come to the well, fetch water from the well, give to the enslaved people to drink. As soon as they drink the water, they lose their memory, they become weak. Some say the water was charmed. Some say no, the water was drugged. Either charmed, either drugged, it was for a purpose. What, for the, what was the purpose? But you see, the reason why they dug this well around here was to make them lose their memory, forget home, not being able to think straight because of the fear they have. The slave traders were afraid of the slaves because they know at the back of their mind that the enslaved people don't have anything to lose mm. if you kill them. So on the ship, they know they could try to revolt. They were usually afraid of slave revolts. That's why they did everything possible to make sure they forget about home, they can't think straight, they use psychology on them, etc. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, why Dr. Anderson was here last year. And it was offered, you know, it's offering, it's off, it was offered this piece of land by the community. Wow. You all saw what we have experienced. This is my own first time, so I see why they cry when they come out. Mm. So from here up to the 
waterfront, Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. They have the plan to build a diaspora palace. Oh. Oh. And this will change the face of, you know, the history of slave trade and development in the yeah, diaspora. So Dr. Much. Anderson is here to actually bless the land and um, thank the community yeah. for the offer. Because we get to stand in the place and walk in the way that our ancestors walked. Yes. But now we get to walk with freedom. Yes. And it will be the joy of return. Mm -hmm. joy of return. And the place mm -hmm. that was separation for families will now be, as Timothy and I talked about last year, a place of family reunification, mm -hmm. a place mm -hmm. of joy. Mm -hmm. We're going to build a royal a diaspora palace hotel. And when people come from all of the diaspora, we're going to have them walk through a symbolic door of re return when they register before they come right into the into the resort and then we're going to treat them like royalty mm. so imagine that you come into that palace and you are royalty when you come back so we have great vision and we also have great provision because we have a great god mm. thank you amen we have a great god well first i want to bring awareness and tell people this story that i experienced and i want to bring others back here i will come back and this is so important, not only for Nigeria and for Africa and African Americans, but for all people. It is very important for the United States to understand because so much of what left the shore built our country and we're all part of that and we need to know this. There were so many thoughts. I felt such a deep burden for so much pain that we have caused so much of humanity. And um, I, I'm overwhelmed with the resilience of humanity, but I see such a great opportunity to reverse that tragedy and bring joy and understanding um, so that we never do this again. What advice do you have for the historic African diaspora? Well, come home. This is the motherland. Come back to the motherland. As, as Dr. Anders said, the joy of return to the motherland. We need to build that. We need to... Um, build on that we need to make it happen and that is beginning to happen here in lagos nigeria so it's something that all hands must be on deck to to work on and develop and it should be the biggest tourism event anywhere in the world with what we have here it's unbelievable back safely on the shores of badagri they symbolically mark their footprints on the soil and celebrate the joy of return with the community.